Some crimes leave footprints. Some leave fingerprints. Some leave witnesses. But the crimes that are coming will leave nothing at all. No trace, no shadow, no sound. They will slip through screens, through DNA, through machines, through the fabric of reality itself, and they will change everything we think we understand about safety. In this video, we step into tomorrow, into a world where identity, biology, perception, even thought itself, can be manipulated. These are not stories of fiction. They are the invisible crimes already forming in the laboratories, algorithms, and innovation hubs of today. Welcome to Future Crimes, Part 1, 5 Invisible Threats, 5 Technological Revolutions, 5 Battles Humanity Must Prepare For Before They Arrive. 1. AI Identity Replication Picture this. You're at your desk when a video call pops up from your supervisor. Same voice, same mannerisms, same little smile they make when they're frustrated. They ask you to authorize a document. Urgent, confidential. You approve it instantly, because why wouldn't you trust the person you've worked with for years? Except, your supervisor never called you. AI identity replication will become the most chilling crime of the next decade. Deep fakes won't be stiff, robotic, or uncanny the way they often are today. They will breathe. They will blink naturally. They will match emotional tone, spontaneous reactions, hesitation, even the slight quiver in someone's voice when they're stressed. This is the moment when trust, the most human instinct, becomes a vulnerability. But here's the part we often forget. Crime advances, but so does defense. Builders of the next generation of AI systems are weaving authenticity markers into synthetic media, invisible signals that act like digital DNA. Devices will soon be able to instantly tell whether the face or voice on your screen was ever real to begin with. And companies around the world are quietly preparing for a future where trust must be verified. They're shifting toward what experts call a zero-trust communication culture, where important approvals require more than a friendly voice or familiar face. As for individuals, we need to relearn a simple principle. Urgency is a weapon. Whenever something feels rushed, emotional, or unusual, the new rule is to verify it through another channel. A message from your boss should be confirmed through internal platforms. A call from a family member should be cross-checked with a simple text. The future of identity security won't come from passwords, it will come from habits. And in that world, awareness becomes our first shield. Two. Synthetic Biology Black Markets As genetic engineering becomes as easy as ordering equipment online, a new underground market will emerge, not for weapons, but for biology. DIY gene editing kits allow anyone to experiment with DNA. Most users are students and researchers, but the accessibility opens the door for unregulated modifications, illicit substances, or biological experiments with unpredictable consequences. How do we stay ahead of this? Scientists propose a system of genetic signature tagging, where every synthetic organism carries a unique, traceable molecular barcode. If misuse occurs, investigators can identify the origin within hours, not months. Governments may require global registration for gene editing devices, similar to how we track pharmaceuticals or medical imaging machines. And AI monitoring tools could analyze online transactions to flag suspicious purchases of certain materials. Instead of banning innovation, which is impossible, the strategy is transparency, traceability, and responsible accessibility. In short, if it can be traced, it can be controlled. 3. Micro-drone espionage and personal surveillance Soon drones won't look like drones. They will look like insects, tiny, silent, autonomous, and capable of navigating through open windows, door gaps, or vents. A criminal won't need to break into your home or office, they'll send a micro-drone to do it for them. But there are early solutions, and they're surprisingly effective. Engineers are developing micro-radar detection systems, small sensors that scan a room or building for tiny moving objects. Think of them as smoke detectors, but for drones. Governments may also require digital drone transponders, small electronic ID tags similar to aviation beacons, allowing security systems to instantly recognize whether a drone is authorized or suspicious. And high-risk locations, financial centers, laboratories, government buildings, will use RF shield zones or anti-drone jamming signals to block unauthorized flight entirely. As drones become more invisible, security must shift from watching the ground to watching the air. Four. 
quantum decryption heists. Every password you've ever created, every encrypted message you've ever sent, every bank transaction, medical record, and private key, all of it relies on math that today's computers cannot break. But quantum computers will be different. They won't just crack encryption, they could crack it instantly. Cybercriminals already practice what experts call harvest now, decrypt later. They steal encrypted data today, with the expectation that quantum hardware will eventually unlock it. So how do we prepare? The cybersecurity world is transitioning to post-quantum cryptography, algorithms designed to survive quantum attacks. Governments in the US, Europe, and Asia have begun testing quantum-safe encryption for banks, satellites, and national archives. Large institutions may soon keep their most sensitive data inside air-gapped, quantum-resistant vaults, separated from vulnerable networks. We are entering a race. Quantum computers on one side, quantum-safe tools on the other. The countries and companies that migrate first will suffer the least when the breakthrough finally arrives. 5. Algorithmic Psychological Manipulation Unlike traditional cybercrime, this future threat isn't about stealing money or data. It's about influence. Subtle, targeted, individualized influence. Artificial intelligence will soon predict not just what we click, but what we fear, believe, and desire. Imagine criminals generating misinformation so perfectly tailored to you that it bypasses your critical thinking entirely. But society is not defenseless. Experts argue for algorithmic transparency laws, requiring companies to reveal how their recommendation systems rank and promote content. Independent auditors, similar to financial auditors, may test algorithms for signs of manipulation or exploitation. Schools may incorporate digital immunity training, teaching students how algorithms influence mental states, just as we teach nutrition or basic health today. And platforms could deploy AI systems that detect abnormal influence patterns targeted at specific individuals. Human psychology is becoming a new battlefield, but with literacy, transparency, and auditing, it doesn't have to become a victim. Six, the future we are walking into. And so we arrive at the end of this journey, or at least the end of this beginning. We've traveled through a future that is still forming itself, a future that doesn't wait for permission, a future that grows and expands through screens, DNA, networks, and code. But before we step away, there is something far more important than the five crimes we explored, something that sits beneath all of them connecting them like threads in a tapestry. Every one of these emerging crimes, the synthetic identities, the genetic black markets, the silent drones, the quantum vulnerabilities, and the psychological manipulations share a single truth. They do not attack buildings. They do not attack borders. They do not even always attack data. They attack certainty. They attack the invisible structures that make society possible. When someone calls you, you expect them to be real. When a voice speaks to you, you expect it to belong to the person you know. When you open your door, you do not expect a drone the size of a moth to be watching from a beam above your head. When you send your private data to your bank, you expect it to remain encrypted for decades. When you see information online, you expect your thoughts to be your own. And this is where the future of crime becomes truly profound. It does not simply threaten our security, it threatens our assumptions about how reality works. We have never lived in a world where identity could be duplicated with such ease, where living organisms could be engineered in an apartment, where machines the size of insects could become spies, where computers could break the foundations of encryption, or where algorithms could nudge us emotionally, quietly, invisibly. Human history has never seen all these tools converge at once, and that convergence is not an accident. It is the natural evolution of technology, a story thousands of years in the making. 7. A world that moves faster than law, faster than culture, faster than us. Human civilization has always been slower than its tools. The stone axe appeared long before written law. Guns existed before stable governments. Electricity spread before safety regulations. The internet grew before anyone understood its consequences and artificial intelligence, well, it is already ahead of us. By the time laws catch up to innovation, innovation has moved on. We are driving a vehicle where the engine accelerates on its own, and we must learn to steer it without fully seeing the road ahead. And that is why future crime is fundamentally different from all previous crime. 
Most crimes in human history relied on force, or deception, or hunger, or conflict. But future crime relies on speed, on the speed of machines, the speed of computation, the speed of replication, the speed of evolution. You and I operate on human time, seconds, minutes, hours. AI and quantum systems operate on machine time, microseconds, nanoseconds, and biology operates on evolutionary time, decades. But with editing tools, what once took centuries can change in days. We are entering a world where criminal capability is no longer limited by human limits. And that means our defenses can no longer rely on human limits either. 8. The Battle for Trust If the 21st century has a defining challenge, it is this. Can we preserve trust in a world where everything that appears real can be faked? Trust is the foundation of every interaction we have. You trust that your child's voice is your child's voice. That your doctor is who they say they are. That your bank representative speaks for the bank. That the person you love is the person you are speaking to. But what happens when perfect imitation becomes trivial? When your eyes and ears, the senses you've relied on your whole life, can no longer distinguish real from synthetic? The consequences ripple through every level of society. Marriage, business, diplomacy, governance, journalism, education, all become vulnerable when identity is no longer guaranteed. This is why new technologies aren't just tools. They are redefinitions. They redefine communication. They redefine perception. They redefine what it means to know something. Future crimes will not simply force us to become more secure. They will force us to become more conscious. We will need to be aware of the assumptions we rely on and question them with maturity, not paranoia. 9. The Battle for Privacy Privacy was once physical. A home, a locked drawer, a closed door. But in the future, privacy becomes atmospheric. Drones the size of insects redefine the concept of personal space. They turn ceilings, vents, and empty rooms into potential portals. And the irony is that most people will never hear them, never see them, never even suspect them. This creates a new question our ancestors never had to ask. How do we protect the air around us? Walls were once our defense. But tomorrow's walls will be electromagnetic. Tomorrow's alarms will detect wings, not footsteps. Tomorrow's locks will control airspace, not doors. This is a dramatic shift, but not an impossible one. Human creativity has always thrived under new constraints. Every new threat teaches us how to innovate, how to expand our imagination, how to see the invisible. 10. The Battle for Time the quantum revolution will transform the concept of time itself, when encryption that was meant to last decades becomes breakable in seconds. The way we store secrets, personal, medical, financial, governmental, must change. We must assume that anything encrypted today could be decrypted tomorrow. This forces us to rethink the entire life cycle of information. What do we keep? What do we discard? What do we protect offline? What do we migrate to quantum safe systems? Quantum computing is a dawn that brings light and danger simultaneously. It gives us extraordinary power, but it also exposes extraordinary vulnerability. And society must learn to evolve alongside it, not behind it. 11. The battle for the human mind. And finally, the most important battlefield is not digital, biological, aerial, or quantum. It is psychological, for the first time in human history, our thoughts, emotions, and behavioral patterns can be studied, predicted, nudged, and shaped by algorithms that are not malicious, but indifferent. Algorithms that do not care about truth, only engagement. Algorithms that do not care about intention, only patterns. This raises a final, profound question. How do we protect the most intimate parts of ourselves, our beliefs, our fears, our sense of identity, from manipulation? The answer is not to isolate ourselves or fear technology, but to understand it to teach psychological resilience, emotional literacy, and critical thinking as essential skills, not luxuries, in the future. The strongest defense will not be firewalls, but self-awareness. 12. A future worth preparing for. These five crimes do not predict disaster. They predict transformation. They show us that the world is changing, rapidly, silently, inevitably. But they also show us that humans have an extraordinary ability to adapt. Every tool that threatens us also empowers us. Every breakthrough that destabilizes us also strengthens us. 
Every new vulnerability forces us to create new defenses. Humanity has faced threats before, natural, biological, technological, and we have always found our way through. This future will be no different. The final reflection. We do not prepare for the future by fearing it. We prepare by understanding it. We protect ourselves not by hiding, but by learning. And that is why this documentary matters, not to alarm you, but to awaken you. Bar the future is coming faster than we expect, but we are more capable than we realize. BR, and this is only part one. In part two, we step deeper into the dangers hidden inside autonomous vehicles, satellite networks, virtual worlds, drone swarms, and the uncharted territory of neural interface crime. Join me there, because the future is closer than you think, and the best time to understand it is now.